being so much like your father. Do not compare me to my father. I didn't compare you. I said you were acting like him. You're exactly like your mother. Everything you complain about her, you're doing. You're suffocating Henry. First of all, I love my mother. She was a great mother. I'm just repeating what you told me. Secondly, how dare you compare my mothering to my mother? I might be like my father, but I'm not like my mother. You I mean, are! And you're like my father. You're also like my mother. You're all the bad things about all these people. But mostly your mother. When we would lie in bed together, sometimes I would look at you and see her and feel so gross. I felt repulsed when you touched me. You're a slob. I made all the beds, closed all the cabinets, you picked up like an infant. You'll never be happy in LA or anywhere. You'll think you found some better opposite guy than me. And in a few years, you'll rebel against him because you need to have your voice. But you don't want a voice. You want to fucking complain about not having a voice. I think of being married to you, and that woman is a stranger to me. We had a child's marriage. You've regressed. You've gone back to your life before you met me. It's pathetic. People used to tell me that you were too selfish to be a great artist. I used to defend you, but they were absolutely right. All your best acting is behind you. You're back to being a hack. You're gaslighting me. You're a fucking villain. You want to present yourself as a victim because of good legal strategy? Fine. But you and I both know you chose this life. You wanted it until you didn't. You used me so you could get out of that way. I didn't use you. You did it and you blamed me for it. You always made me aware of what I was doing wrong, how I was falling short. Life with you was joyless. So you had to go and fuck somebody else. You shouldn't be upset that I fucked her. You should be upset that I had a laugh with her. Do you love her? No! But she didn't hate me. You hated me. You hated me. You fucked someone we worked with. But there's so much I could have done. I was a director in my 20s who came from nothing and set me on the cover of fucking Time Out New York. I was hot shit and wanted to fuck everybody and I didn't. And I loved you and I didn't want to lose you and I'm in my 20s and I didn't want to lose that too and I kind of did. And you wanted so much, so fast, I didn't even want to get married. Fuck it. There's so much I didn't do. Well, thanks for that. You're welcome. I can't believe I have to know you forever. You're fucking insane. And you're fucking winning! Are you kidding? I wanted to be married. I already lost. You didn't love me as much as I loved you. What does that have to do with LA? What? You're so purged with your own selfishness that you don't even identify the selfishness anymore. You're such a dick! Every day I wake up and hope you're dead. Then, like, if I can guarantee that Henry would be okay, I hope you get an illness and then you get hit by a car and die! Thank <laughs> you.